some of the data is rolling in now, right, for what you're seeing. What are some of the findings of somebody who does social demography like you do? So um, in terms of the racial and ethnic inequality work, what we found was early in the pandemic, Black Canadians were disproportionately affected by COVID-19. And a lot of it came because they're in the types of jobs that put them in greater exposure. They also live in neighborhoods and housing that also render them particularly more vulnerable. They're also the ones that probably were economically affected the most due to COVID-19. So right. all of these things together have created the perfect storm for their health to worsen, yeah. but we still can uh, do adequate policy interventions that can mitigate that. I wanted to ask about mortality and uh, it's disproportionately impacted marginalized groups. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. That's what I've been reading anyway. Is there anything else to be said about the uh, the mortality uh, through the pandemic? The mortality rates have really decreased. It's in the low point zero one percent Now we have to look at this balance of providing adequate health care for many other conditions as compared to dealing with SARS-CoV-2. Fortunately, they were all in the same sort of area of prevention. But when you look at dealing with other major infectious diseases like HIV, which without treatment is 100% mortality, which nobody ever realizes or nobody ever thinks about. Wow. You know, so we have 37 million people. If they don't receive their drugs every single day, they are in a pathway to mortality. And this is, you know, really problematic. So we, we need to at some times balance what's going on 